If you want your children to be intelligent, read them fairy tales. If you want them to be more intelligent, read them more fairy tales. <laughs> Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new LP. LP. It's a blind LP. You can't see anything, just like Lord Byron. Uh, yeah, we're all blind like Byron. So... I wanted to record something, and I was looking through good old games, and I honestly don't know where this came from. I must have gotten it at some point. So I thought, the last blind LP people seemed to enjoy, uh, that was a point-and-click adventure, and Helper decided to join me on this one, so we know zero about it. I, it's made by Infamous Quests, which I think is- it's a newer group. I think they were doing rem- they did a remake of King's Quest 3, I believe. The only reason I know that is I played it, and uh, I think it was this group, not not AGD Interactive. It was a different group, and I had a bug where the bandits followed me the entire game. <laughs> so I have a little bit of insight to this game. Yeah. You see, there's this elvish bard, and he's on a mission from the king. Yeah, we haven't played it this far as I mean, like we skipped the intro, we skipped the tutorial. We just wanted to make sure it worked, so we're even hoping that much. So let's let's watch the intro. Long ago, in the time before time began, the great realm of Yuir prospered under the guardianship of the benevolent Order of Knights, who protected and guided the people of its many kingdoms. I hope that's loud enough. I didn't know it was going to be voiced. These knights were known as the Order of the Thorn. Oh, I kept reading Throne. <laughs> Are they sure they're not mis mispronouncing it? It's Tihorn? The price of peace is not so easily won. For where there is good, evil is not far behind. I need more guitar. I feel like I'm playing like an 80s game. It sounds from the 80s. These are the stories of the knights, the Order of the Thorn, and their many ventures. He didn't read that, did he? These are the stories oh. of the knights of the Order of the Thorn and their many adventures. It's really Tihorne. <laughs> Order of the Thorn, the King's Challenge. Was it? I guess it was supposed to be a series. I don't know. I I, I know nothing. I literally opened up good old games. Let's play this. <laughs> Actually, what I really want to do is. There's something in King's Quest 6 I've always wanted to try. Um, and I kind of want to record a silly video of me playing King's Quest 6 just to see if this one thing I can do is actually doable. But I kind of want a guest commentator. Because um, Icon's never played the game, and Helper isn't too familiar with the game, so I'm, I'm trying to see if I can find somebody who can guest commentate who knows King's Quest 6 really well. I think that would make it funnier, because it's going to be funny, I'm hoping. It's just going to- I'm going to- I just- there's several things I really want to try. I've never seen or tried myself, and I thought I wanted to record it. Oh, here we go. Look, it's Brother Hawk. <laughs> Hello there, young bard. It's quite a tune you're playing. I'm going to turn it up sir. a little. I'm going to pause it just for a sec. Whoop. It was written by my father. I keep all of his songs in my book of songs. Oh, you play very well. What brings you to this crossroads, though? Sorry. I am on my way to the fairy kingdom to accept the king's challenge. Whoa, that's quite the undertaking, lad. I know. It's not for the foolhardy, but I truly wish to participate. Of course, lad. King Kellern's yearly challenge is a renowned contest of cunning and bravery. One never knows what the Fairy King has in mind for his challengers from year to year, but it is always a true contest of honor. The truth is, I need inspiration. You see, I want to compose the greatest ballad ever written. The King's Challenge would make a very fitting event to compose a song about indeed. I've always wanted to be a brave, good bard like my father. Now is my chance. Who was your father? His name was Donald of Galway. He was a bard, but also served in... Ah, uh, I knew your father. He served the Order of the Thorn well. I heard him sing once in Glen Morgana. His voice inspired the weary when we thought we couldn't go on. Thank you, sir. You see, I want to honor his legacy and sacrifice. Aye, I believe you will, son. Well, good luck to you, uh... Finn. I am Finn the Bard. 
A well-met Finn. Well, I am off to pursue the duties of my cloak. Peace be with you, Finn. You too, brother... Owen. My name is Brother Owen. It was a pleasure to meet you. You as well, Owen. I'm sorry I'm messing with the sound. I'll mess with it one more time. I apologize. Just want to get it so you can still hear us while hearing them. It's kind of hard. Don't you know that the LPR is always right? <laughs> I hope I'm, I'm not really sure I understand what's going on yet, but... The elf wants to make the best song ever. And the he's going day to... of the challenge had arrived. Home of the fairy court. Okay, oh. Let's go to the challenge so we can get Throngs inspiration. Throngs of people came from all over Cran Naoim, the home of the fairy court, to discover what this year's challenge would be. Underwater basket weaving. <laughs> the hopeful challengers all assembled in the throne room of the fairy court to hear what King Quillhan had to say. Oh, see, they're making the music quieter for the narrator. That's what's throwing me off. Welcome, Dang. challengers. I am pleased to see so many of you come forth. Once every ten years, I issue a call for the best and brightest of my subjects. Today, the seven of you have answered, and I am honored by your presence in my court. And the this other year, nine years now. I have created a challenge that, while quite simple in concept, should prove to be most taxing and adventurous for you. My wife, your queen, has volunteered to be hidden somewhere in this land until a champion can find her. She is hidden within the boundaries of our lands. From the path exiting the realm to the east, to the edge of the spider forest to the west, within these vast and varied locales, she could be hidden anywhere. The prize for finding the queen is the same as it ever was. The champion will win the right to one wish from your king, whatever is within my power to grant, and the title of champion of the fairy realm. This task will not be easy, but I have faith that one of you seven brave challengers will find her. Now, if you please, let us make introductions. Tell me of yourself. I wish to know something of my challengers. Your Majesty, I am Gowan, Knight of the Kingdom of Stoneland. I am the bravest and most feared knight in my kingdom, and I have come to win this challenge, as is my destiny. Welcome to the challenge, Sir Gowan. Oh yes, absolutely, Majesty. They call me Chaka, and I'm from the fairy realm myself. And well, I just thought it'd not be fun. I've always <laughs> wanted to go on a quest. Welcome, Chaka. Pleased to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm Snowy, and this is my friend Red. We have dedicated our lives to helping other people, so finding the Queen would be the ideal task for us. Oh yes, Your Majesty. It would be amazing and fantastic. It's a pleasure to have such fine ladies in this year's challenge. Welcome. I am Fowlin, Your Majesty. Friend of the Fairy Realm and Adventurer. I've heard of your exploits, friend Fowlin. You must tell me one day about your legendary defeat of the evil Lord Sinister. It is a story that I'd very much like to hear from you. Wow. I'd be honored to tell the tale, Your Majesty. Although I must admit the versions of it I have heard told in taverns since have been somewhat <laughs> exaggerated, sire. I'm sure. Tales are always better when they are true. Welcome to the challenge, Fowlin. I am well. Abaddon, High Priest of the Kingdom of Rosette. I was sent by your brother, the King of Rosette, to participate in this challenge. My brother always sends his best. I am sure you are most welcome here. I shall be the one to find your queen, Majesty, have no doubt. Do not let pride stand in your way, Abaddon. It is perhaps a fatal flaw in some. Nonetheless, I wish you my best. Hello, Your Majesty. My name is Finn, and I only just arrived in this land. I am a bard, but I travel and play songs for my lodgings and food. Hello, Finn. A bard is always welcome in my realm. Although I must say, <laughs> most minstrels are better dressed. I apologize for my attire, Your Majesty. I was waylaid on my journey by bandits, and I was only left with my traveling clothes. Your attire isn't important, young bard. Well, then why'd you say anything? Only your heart and spirit. I look forward to hearing you play once the challenge is over. Now, I wish to thank you all, challengers. Before you leave, I shall offer you each a royal gold coin. 
This coin is your proof that you are a participant in the King's Challenge. It will not only imbue you with honor and allow you access to places in my kingdom that are often difficult to reach, but you will also be required to present it to the guards to re-enter the village of Cran Naom. Now, to my brave and bright seven, let the challenge begin! Wait, so... Well, the game begins. Time to find the queen. Okay. Can we, we finally to... talk yet? We have to find a lady who's not really lost. Okay, before we do anything, is there a menu? Sounds... Oh, did I just break the game? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Guys, I think I might have just broken the game. Oh, no! Um, I tried to, uh... Go to the options before I pick yes or no on the tutorial. Uh, so I guess you'll see you next time <laughs> when I don't break the game. <laughs>